Hi, I'm Cami Hines from Cami's Kitchen, and today we're going to make a dry martini. Here are the things you'll need. Vodka, dry vermouth, olives, a toothpick, a chilled martini glass, a shaker, something to measure with, ice, an orange, a knife and a cutting board, and a lighter. All right, let's get started. So first, you want to just put a few ice cubes in your shaker. Let's go with three. Next, you want to pour maybe a half an ounce, so a half a shot of vermouth into the shaker. Put the lid on, tight, shake it around, and dump the vermouth. You just watch the orange, so make sure it doesn't roll away. I'll be right back. Is it still there? Okay, good job. Now, you want to add two to three shots of vodka, depending on the size of your glass. I think today I feel like a two shot. One, two. And today we're using this new vodka. It's local uh, here to Portland, Oregon. It was recommended to me, so we'll see how it tastes. Lid back on. Shake. And pour. Perfect. These are jalapeno stuffed olives. I thought it would go great with this martini. I like a lot, so I'm going to do four. Now for the finish. The pièce de résistance. The caramelized orange oil. I learned this trick from a friend. Cut a wedge of orange. This is a car a car orange, but it doesn't really matter. Peel it. Get your lighter ready. And squeeze the orange peel through the flame over the martini. Not only does it make a spectacular show, it will caramelize the orange oil over the surface of the martini. So now, not only do we have jalapeno stuffed olives, we have a nice orange zest to go with that. Should taste amazing. Let's see. Ah, perfect. Would you like to try? 